Now here she is, Olivia Wilde, everybody. <laughs> Look at Olivia, isn't she beautiful? Gorgeous. Oh, thank you know, you. you've got those eyes, you know what I mean? Mm. Just kind of stare you down. Well, to follow Harrison Ford is kind of a. But you hey, just, you just worked him. with him. Yeah. He was just talking about God, you. God, I love him. Yeah. He's dreamy. He's dreamy. <laughs> he really what, what, is. What was it like? Well, I was so intimidated to begin with, and then he's just such a softy. He's great. And, you know, we're making a cowboy movie, and Harrison is a real cowboy, yeah. you know? Right. And so I really. I wanted to prove myself as being tough as the boys, sure. and I really did that for about three months until I fell off my horse. Uh oh, <gasps> oh a really no. bad fall. I've fallen a lot before. This was really bad. <laughs> and as I was crumpled up on the ground in so much pain, I was just thinking, like, "Be cool, be cool. Harrison's there. Harrison's watching. Be cool." So everyone's like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> "Can't feel anything neck down, but I'm okay." Oh no. No, it was fine in the end. It was totally fine. But it was just—it was so inspiring to get to work with someone that fantastic. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And to ask his advice about absolutely everything. That's how Kelly feels every morning. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when Harrison is here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, you, what I remember from the old, old Navy commercials mm -hmm. is that dog, that white dog. Oh. And I didn't know that. It was your dog. Yes, I'm a stage mom. Yeah, Paco. That's uh, did my they, dog. Did they audition Paco? How did, how did Paco, Paco get discovered? Paco was discovered. Really? No um, yeah, every young actor's dream. He was at a park in Los Angeles and he was discovered. And then he beat out 120,000 dogs to become the old Navy dog. Um, and then there were all these forums online with people trashing Paco and thinking that he just got in because his mom was an actress. Poor and everything. Paco! I was just like, Paco stands on his own four feet, you know? Who right. knows? It's but, outrageous! Yeah. <laughs> so then he did it for about a year. And we were living in New York at the time and it was a lot of flying back to LA. And I pulled him from the business. It was too stressful oh, no and I felt too competitive with you him. You retired top Paco. Yeah, he was getting recognized more than me and I just... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't him like crazy. It. He really would. We were living in Brooklyn and I'd be walking him down the street and people would be like, that's the old Navy dog, Paco! Uh -huh. I'd be like, excuse me. Um, have you, I, I can list my credits for you. <laughs> but it, uh, it, it, was, it was too much for him and me. So I took him out, and I think he's much happier in retirement. Think so? Sure. Yeah. You don't think he misses his old glory days there, huh? Maybe he stares yeah. at his poster once he in a while. He wanted people to love him for him, well, exactly. sure. not for I'm his sure commercial. Exactly. <laughs> well, listen, miss, you know, uh, besides House, you're making so many movies lately. Yeah, it's been a good year. The one year. out in New, New Mexico with yeah, Harrison. Yeah, I did and Cowboys and Aliens, and I did um, one before that called Butter with Jennifer Garner. Wow. Oh. And uh, that should come out in the spring. I'm doing one right now with Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman called The Change Up. And I have one coming out right now called The Next Three Days yeah. with Russell Crowe. With and Russell Crowe. Crow. Yeah. And you just, you just left uh, the set of Tron, Tron, too, right? Yes, Tron comes out in December. Very exciting. Well, that's Olivia, a big that's one. about oh six God. movies that are <laughs> on their way out for, to America. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, what's it like working with Russell Crowe? He's here on the show a lot and seems uh, to be a nice guy. But you know, the infuriating thing about Russell is he's so good that it's distracting. I think oh. that really he should stop being so good. He should tone down the talent <laughs> so as to allow his fellow actors to be able to focus a little bit more. Yeah, because I know what honestly, you mean. in the middle of the scene, I would just be like, You're like watching a movie. I'm oh, sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, he's just so, 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 you know, focused and he's so in his character. And he does such a brilliant job in this movie. I can't tell you, it's so heartbreaking. And I don't think we've seen him in a role like this. Um, he's a devoted husband and father, and he will literally do anything to save his wife. And, um,. <laughs> So I'm he's not gonna, the wife. Well, I hear, I hear he's going <laughs> to try to break her out of jail. Yes, exactly. Right. Mm. And who do you play? I play a woman he meets while his wife is in prison, and she's completely unaware of the drama in his life. Um, and she just thinks he's, you know, divorced and his wife is out of the picture. Well, does it become a romantic situation? Well, I think she'd like it to be, but that's one thing that makes him such a devoted husband mm. is even when his wife is in prison, mm. you know, he doesn't mm. necessarily follow... His instincts. Oh. Mm. Oh, so he does have instincts. <laughs> He's he human. must play a saint in this. Yeah. <laughs> so but no, it was incredible to be able to, to act with him. Yeah, it was extraordinary. Well, in this particular scene, he's confiding uh, t to you yes. why his wife is not in the picture. Yes. Yeah. All right, take a look at this. Well, what are you going to do? You can't win them all, Olivia. Yeah. yeah. The next three days in theaters on Friday, November 19th, Russell Crowe and Olivia Wilde. Thanks, Olivia. Thanks so much. All right, theater, please.